Welcome to the opening series. The goal of this series is to give you the most comprehensive, in-depth, but also practical and actionable look at opening that's humanly possible. And the way that we're gonna do that is this. I'm gonna show you a specific type of open with every single video. I'm gonna go over what that open is, we're gonna give you infield examples of that open. I'm gonna give you the principles, the pros and cons, all the details and information I have about the open. And then we're gonna talk about one specific general opening sort of um, idea or one principle that's very important with that particular style of open, right? So every single one of these is gonna handle one very common style of opener that's very, very effective, and it's gonna go into crazy depth on it. All right, so with that said, the opener I wanted to start with on this very first installment of the opening series is the direct open. This is probably the most common open that you've ever seen, probably the most common open you've ever done. It's kind of the open that if you don't know what you're doing but you're just feeling attracted to a girl and you wanna go tell her, the kind of the thing that you blurt out. And there's a lot of very positives about this open, okay? Now the open specifically is this, hello and then compliment, right? Hey, I thought you were cute, I wanted to meet you. Hey, I love your dress. Something like that. Hey, I love your dress, I'm Todd. Those kind of opens, all right? So let's look at an example of that right now and then we're gonna break it down. So I adore the sunglasses. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> this is what it is, I'm sorry. Um, I actually have to go to St. Who are you? Oh, well, I'm here <laughs> for today. <laughs> Super just roaming around. So now that you've seen it in action, let's talk a bit about this opening style. This is actually one of the opening styles I recommend very, very highly for someone beginning in game. And the reason for that is when people are starting out in game, one of the biggest mistakes you're gonna see is lack of intent not showing the girl that they're interested in, in her, right? A lot of guys have what we call the half hour conversation, you know, where there's chit chat, chit chat, chit chat, and they leave, um, and if it's like maybe, maybe a student of mine, I ask, does she know you have a penis? And the student's like, well, maybe, right? The answer to that should be yes. The answer should be she knows you're there as a man, she knows that this is a man to woman interaction. And the good thing about giving a compliment at the start, or even saying I wanted to meet you explicitly at the start, is it helps you along the path towards being man to woman. One big principle in opening is the idea that the, the frame of the open, it's gonna control the frame of the interaction, right? So if you open very direct, you're gonna have a very direct interaction. If you open indirect, you're gonna have an indirect interaction. By showing intent at the very start, you make it easier because you've already kind of broken that intent barrier. You make it easier to show intent throughout the interactions. So you make it easier to be the type of man who escalates. So for that reason, because a lot of newbies don't show a lot of intent, I find that this opener can be very good for newbies for that reason, okay? Um, so that's one very good positive about it. Also, at a kind of a, a lower newbie level of game, um, a lot of guys are even scared to show intent, so the very fact that you're ballsy enough to say I like you, that you're ballsy enough to just admit it and put it out there without apology, actually says to the girl, you're not a super low value guy, because low value guys would be very hesitant, uh, excuse me, can I, excuse me, what's the time? Right, they're beating around the bush, whereas if you're at least confident enough to say, Here's, this is what I'm here for, this is what I want, I like you, that at least says that you're not a super low value guy. So for all these reasons, I think it is a good opener for um, a beginner. And to be fair, it's a good opener even beyond a beginner level. It's not just for beginners, but it is one of the first openers I'd recommend to a beginner. Um, the other great thing about it is that assuming that a girl likes you, this type of opener moves the interaction along a lot faster. <clears throat> right? There are a lot of openers that, that lead to more indirect sets, that lead to more beating around the bush style of game. Um, and if that's the case, if you're using that kind of opener um, with a girl that already likes you, you're wasting a lot of time, right? So when the girl likes you, you do want to get to the point. So those are a lot of the positives about this type of opener. What are some of the negatives? Well, the main negative to this type of opener is that you're basically conveying your intent or conveying the fact that you like her right away. And the fact that you're doing that means she has to make a decision very early on. So you're asking her to decide within the first you know, few seconds of the interaction whether she likes you, whether she would consider you a sexual prospect. So if you've come off very well, if you seem high value, you're gonna get a yes a decent amount of the time. Um, but you also, even then, might get a no a decent amount of time because she doesn't know you very well. And certainly, if there are flaws in your body language, flaws in your tonality, those kind of things, you're gonna get a lot of very negative reactions very quickly because you're asking a girl to make a decision off of limited information, some of which is negative. Okay, so the big issue there is that you will get more immediate rejections. The other more minor issue, which is related, is that you're going in and by showing your interest right away, 
um, a lot of guys, when they do this type of open, will have very obvious interactions, where it's very clear they're into the girl, it's very clear that the girl can have them, and so there's not a lot of sexual tension. So it's important at a high level, if you're going to use this opener beyond like a beginner level, that um, even if you open fairly direct, even if you open with a compliment, that there be some sort of push-pulls, that there be some sort of like teases or pushing her away or showing that there's a chance she can't have you later on so that you actually do establish some sexual tension, right? And the major mistake that, that a lot of guys make with this as so they go in and like compliment the girl and they just keep complimenting her and complimenting her and complimenting her. The girl's on this massive pedestal, she feels great, but she has no reason to sleep with you because she's already been fully validated. Okay, so you want to be careful about specifically over-validating the girl. So those are kind of the cons. Again, the pros, the fact that it's, it's direct, you're, you're being man to woman and you're establishing that, that frame in the set. The cons, the fact that you're basically giving away a lot of your power and asking for a response before she's seen a lot of your personality. So you're asking for her to judge on very little. You're going to get more rejections and sets where you tend to be the one pushing a bit more. Okay, but it is a very strong opening style, very, very good for beginners. And one of the reasons why I recommend for beginners to learn it is, one, it's simple, and you can get a result with it quickly, right? When girls respond to you well, things will go well throughout the interaction. The other reason is that it forces you to get certain elements of your game down. And specifically, what it forces you to get down is your tonality, okay? And that's what we're going to talk about is the lesson for today's video is tonality. Now, tonality basically means the way that your voice sounds, okay? Um, and Part of the way your voice sounds is how loud you are, but another part is like the expression in your voice. And that sounds a little strange, so let me get more specific. All right? um, when, you're, when you're writing, when you're punctuating a sentence, at the end of the sentence you can put different marks. You can put a question mark, a period, exclamation point, or you can kind of have a sentence that trails off dot, dot, dot. Okay? Those are all different intonations in your communication. And they communicate different things. Obviously a question mark communicates a question, or it can communicate being unsure of yourself. Dot, dot, dot communicates a lack of finality. Um, period, uh, dot, it says it is final, right? Period says it's final, I'm sure of myself. And an explanation, exclamation point is that plus excited or that plus intense, all right? So when you think about the punctuation mark in your words to the girl, most guys, when they talk to girls, they punctuate it with a question mark. And this is what we call trying for rapport tonality. Everything sounds like a question, even if it's not a question. So for example, if I said, hi, my name's Todd, but I said it was trying for more tonality, I'd be like, hi, my name's Todd. Right, do you, do you hear, hear the questioning in the voice? It's almost like I don't even know my name. What I'm conveying to the girl is, is it okay with you that my name's Todd? Does that offend you, madam? Right, you wanna be very careful of that because it's a very low value form of expression. And if you go in and it's almost like you're seeking permission to talk to her or you're acting like she should be offended by the fact you're talking to her or she, she should give you a negative reaction. If you're going in and telling her she should give you a negative reaction, she probably will. So this trying for a portionality or the question mark at the end of the sentence, another way of thinking of it, is not going to work very well on the open. Okay? Um, the next tonality that I'm going to talk to you about is the, what I call the ellipsis, the dot, dot, dot tonality. And that's kind of like neutral to rapport tonality. Okay? Um, basically, that's like you're just making a statement and there's not like a lot of like, that's my statement, I'm sticking to it. There's not a, fi a lot of finality. It doesn't demand an answer, right? So this is actually kind of hard for me to do. It's, it's not ingrained for me because it's, it's not a tonality I use a lot in my everyday day, day speech, but I'll try and emulate it as best I can. Um, if I was like, hi, I'm Todd, right? It's just very flat. There's no finality. You almost feel like maybe there's another word coming afterwards. Has he finished his sentence yet? And a lot of guys do this. They're sort of saying the sentence and trailing off. Um, and by doing that, by not like having conviction, like if you make a solid point, someone can dispute your solid point. If you seem wishy-washy or lack conviction, you're not going to get a, um, a negative response to that lack of conviction, right? And so it's another form of sort of like um, self-protection, right? When you go in with the question mark, like I talked about a minute ago, you're self-protecting because you're just questioning so no one can, can get angry at you for the question you ask because it's not a statement. If you're just trailing off, again, no one can get angry at you. It's very soft, right? Um, and it, it just doesn't hit, right? When you, when you use this kind of tonality, a lot of times it's not even going to register to the girl that you opened her. She might even ignore you, or she might just like give you a quick response and turn away, that sort of thing, because you haven't demanded attention, okay? Um, finally, I want to talk about the, the last tonalities, which are period and then exclamation point. And I'm kind of mapping these together because these are very final, right? So period is just a less strong version of, question, of, of exclamation point. Now, exclamation point is maybe a little too much. It's a little too much. Um, for example, you're like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Right? That kind of an open, that's like if there was exclamation points at the end of your open. And that's just scary. That's just intimidating for the girl. That's just a little over the top. And that's actually, quite frankly, very, very try hard. It will get her attention. 
Right? It will get her attention. It will command some authority, but it will probably scare her. What you want to do is a little less than that, which is just a period with maybe even a hint of exclamation, like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Right? Um, that was even maybe a little exaggerated. Hey, how you doing? But you notice how when I say how you doing, at the end of it, it's, it's finality. And I, in fact, I asked a question. How you doing is a question. But I didn't ask it, how you doing? Right? With a question mark in the voice, I asked it with a period in the voice. And because of that, an answer is commanded. All right? So the way that I want you to think about this is that if you're doing the question mark, the, the trying for a poor tonality, the super soft tonality, you're probably going to come off as low value. If you're doing dot, 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 just kind of trailing off at the end of your sentence, I call that neutral to poor tonality. And it's fine for normal conversation. But the problem is, on the open, you're just not getting enough attention. Right? You're just not commanding an answer. And so girls will usually do what's easiest for them, which is just keep doing what they're doing instead of answering you. And then finally, if you use the slightly breaking report tonality, being final in what you're doing, or even having a little bit of that exclamation mark, now you're going to get her attention. Now the secret is to get her attention without being harsh. So one way is to only put a tiny bit of exclamation mark in your conversation. The other one, and what I really like, is what I call um, exclamation mark or breaking rapport with a smile on your face or a smirk on your face. So instead of like, fuck you, it's, hey, fuck you, right? It has just that little bit of like cocky sort of like smirky um, vibe about it, all right? Um, so that's the vibe you want on the open is um, you believe in what you're saying, you will be heard, but you're not super intense and serious. There's a little bit of like cocky playfulness in your open, and that's the type of open that's going to get a really good response, all right? Now, that's a principle that's true for all opening styles, but it's absolutely critical for an opening style where you're going in and you're asking for a positive response right away. Because when you say, hey, I like you, I want to meet you, that's what you're doing is you're saying, I'm interested and I'm hoping for a positive response. So you better have your tonality and, to be fair, your body language as well in alignment when you do that kind of an open. Okay? So now that we've talked about tonality, body language, that kind of stuff. We didn't talk a lot about body language, but think of body language as an extension of the tonality, right? You're conveying the same things, which is certainty, finality, but a little bit of like playfulness and not being serious. Now that you've seen and heard all that, um, let's look at that clip one more time. So I adore the sunglasses. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> this is what it is. I'm sorry. Um, I actually have to go to St. Louis. Who are you? Oh, well, I'm here <laughs> for today. <laughs> You're not from, obviously you're not from nope. the city. You're a tourist? Yeah. Fair enough. Is it just you? Well, I'm with a group, but I just um, dropped off like, some extended family. You're like, fuck the group, I'm going to go do my yeah, own thing. Exactly. I admire your independence. <laughs> I'm, I'm Todd, nice to meet you. You are? Hi. I'm you're what? Nice to meet you. Um, well, I'm going to regardless, and we're walking the same direction. So would you like to join me for I'll, the conversation for a second? This way? Uh, yeah, it's this okay. way. It's like half a block. My family's traveling a bit, so I'm kind of like, everybody was freaking out on me going out, but I was like, I'm kind of confident in it. I met up with some extended family for food, so it's, right. you know. Come with me. Fine.